Good morning. Let's have a look at Friday. A bit quiet, it seems. Did Pex Vola score first? Did we get a 0 0 at half time? AZ had been in good early form, but no, continued that solid early form with a very early goal. Here's to Divisi. Well, both teams to score three times, over two and a half goal, two times. Knocking on the door, all dependent. With these two goal games, when you're doing overs, if you get a first half goal, if you get two within 25 minutes, that's pretty much over two and a half goals in the bag as a trader. Similar story here. Well, 23rd minute goal would have got it moving, but it would have all dissipated while you were waiting for the second goal. This market is now in play. Bundesliga, Augsburg and Mainz. Looks like a tetchy affair. 2.3 the favourite. I can't read it. I just got no pre-match angle in at all. Unlike, for example, Granada, newly relegated. That's an angle. And it looks as if they were uh, first scorers. You could have laid the draw beginning of the second half in the hope that Granada would score first. Possibility to lay the draw here, given the fact they are newly relegated and therefore could find this league to their liking, but they were done by a late equaliser. But the 2-1 was there. So watch out for that. 1.5 to 1.7 favourite at home with a reason. The reason being newly relegated. In the Irish Premier Division. This market has been suspended. Cork City would have been the one to look at. First in the league, second in the league. You saw dominant displays from top two. First half goal for UCD. But Cork City in a spot of bother. Nil two down at half time, which fits in to one of our strategies. Underdog leading nil two on or around half time. You get a good old half time team talk. Manager reminds the home seed side they're in front of home support. Bring on Ronan Keating from Boys Own. And we're up and running. A nice comeback there. So I'd get involved in the match odds here at nil two. I would be laying Finn Harps and back Cork City. Remember, another strong angle, newly relegated. And finding this league to their liking, they are first in the league. Verona Torino, no strong angle here at all. This is a typical scoreline of a 2.75 the favourite. Bye bye to those strong defensive displays from Torino. When you get 2.75 the favourite, you can get any old scoreline, any old team winning. Sevilla's problems remain. Wouldn't have been a match that I would have particularly looked at that one. We're missing, of course, the Professional Development League. Let's see if we can see goals there. Well, there we go. Let's just change this. I think the problem is I've got this on time. So don't forget the English Professional Development League. It's got a great reputation for overs. So let's have a look. There's the Easter Divisi. One, two, three. Successful over two and a half goal plays there. I think that wouldn't have been because you've got a 90th minute second goal. So let's have a look at the Professional Development League. There we go. An absolute goal fest. If it's available on Betfair, fill your boots. English Premier, Div Premier League 2 is also very good for overs. We've got one, two of those in. Dependent on the goals here. Crystal Palace and Reading, I think uh, two first half goals within the hour, within the half hour, would have been a profitable over two and a half goal trade at the very least. Bit disappointing this one and this one as well. So you get the gist, don't you, with Premier League 2. Professional Development League, there's a strong slant towards goals. In the Vikaus League at HJK, I think getting an equaliser. Nope, they scored first. Again, this is the championship group, so they're no, not playing, apart from Hacker, any dodge pots. It's the top half of the table playing each other. French Ligue 1, well, the market getting this one absolutely spot on, 1.45. Saint-Étienne, newly promoted and 
if Nice are scoring eight goals against you, you're in a spot of bother. They do tend towards uh, a bit of a 1-0 fest. French League Dirt, still uh, three sides I would have looked at yesterday. Newly relegated Guincamp. I think they're newly relegated. Newly promoted Martigue and Red Star. And as you can see, the newly promoted sides yet again in a spot of bother. That is the expectation coming into the better league. Guincamp. Would have rewarded those who had faith in them coming back from behind on two occasions. Remember, they were in French League, uh, I believe, last season. Or maybe not. Let's have a look. I think they were in French League, uh. No, Ligue 2, so my mistake. There was one of them with the... Who were... Newly promoted, newly relegated. Clermont, perhaps, Clermont Foot, but 2.4, the favourite, suggesting a tough encounter. Bundesliga Zwei, not nothing doing yesterday, but a, a disappointing display from Schalke. Uh, they had this one in the bag. Oh dear, oh dear, dear, dear. Now, had I been Mystic Meg, of course, I would have laid Schalke, but uh, there's nothing to suggest such a capitulation, 1.83 favourites, 3-0 up. Uh, X of the Bundesliga, two or three seasons ago, playing at, looks like, Cub Scouts. Great display from Darmstadt, but I, I wish huh, I was Mystic Meg there. That would have been a wonderful return. Don't say it doesn't happen. You saw with Everton against Bournemouth, and that was only 2-0. That was about it yesterday, really. On to today, great to see the big boys out and about. Premier League returns. We've got yet another London derby. So just be very careful with that opener. And the market's just given Chelsea the slight advantage here. Le Petitgu's West Ham not really got going, have they? But Chelsea can tempt the goals. They've got a really quality-looking squad. If they can just get the most out of them, evens will be looking quite rosy at the end of this one. Aston Villa and Wolves. It's that Aston Villa goals threat, isn't it? They're scoring two goals away from home and they scored three against the young boys. I'm expecting two goals against Wolves in a local-ish derby. Wolves uh, are conceding worryingly too much for Gary O'Neill's liking, I would suspect. Conceding three here. Failing to win despite scoring two. Conceding two here. Conceding, oh, scoring two. Conceding six here. So you saw that quick reaction to conceding six goals. I think they're in a spot of bother, particularly if they score first. There's a strong both teams to score angle there. So they'd certainly be on the watch list favouring Aston Villa, I think. Fulham and West Ham, 2.55 to favourite. Uh -uh. Leicester and Everton. Well, I would star this one to look at because I, I suspect Everton could take the lead here yet again. They've taken the 2-0 lead in two, two consecutive matches. I think they could do that today. Leicester have been floundering a little back in the Premier League. Liverpool, it's a must win. You can't go two consecutive home defeats, particularly at these odds. But there's extenuating circumstances for the last one, Champions League football. Southampton and Ipswich, newly promoted sides, could find each other to their liking. So I'm going to give that one a miss. London Derby is the only thing Dampening enthusiasm with Tottenham and Brentford. But uh, Tottenham are looking good. Uh, but I say they're looking good. I don't think they've had a win yet this season. So uh, I stand corrected. Uh, well, beating Coventry in the EFL. There's a loss to Arsenal. Fair enough. But they've played some big sides, Newcastle and Arsenal. Uh, didn't get any change out of those two. 4-0 win against Everton. And a 1-1 draw against Leicester. Very poor indeed, that 1-1 draw as well. So the onus is on Tottenham to deliver. Kind of like a uh, redemption-style match, this, isn't it? Is there a possibility that they could deliver? It is a London derby. That would temper enthusiasm. Crystal Palace scored two goals for the first time last week. But it was a very, very late equaliser. But it paid for us, which was excellent. We had the 1-2 covered. Uh, so... I don't think they have the attacking prowess to take advantage of a Man U in a bit of good form. 
at the moment and a very exciting attacking line as well. Ten goals, two matches. Emphatic stuff. Losing to Liverpool, fair enough. It's a big, high-profile derby. Losing to Brighton, that was a 90th-plus minute winner for Brighton. And a, a beating of Fulham as well. An interesting match. Probably not going to be on my radar because... There's that air of unreadability with Manu, which one turns up. And with Crystal Palace, there's that blunt attack. Yes, they scored two goals for the first time this season last week in the Premier League. They've been doing it plenty in the Cups. But I still think they struggled up front. Bochum, Dano and Holston Keel. This is likely to be tighter, I would suggest, than the market at 1.95. Holston Keel newly promoted and therefore... Targetable and the uh, Howling Dogs agree with that. Heidenheim and Freiburg, all you have to do is look at the market and move on. Hoffenheim, look for goals before half time. If you can get 10 minutes at 0 0, got an opportunity. Look at this one. This was over two and a half goals and a 17 minute break to the first goal. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yet more goals before half time in the Hoffenheim match. Make it two. And against Holstein Kiel, you can see two goals again before half time. So that's the tactic I'll be looking at with the Hoff. Trying to get 10, 15 minutes at nil-nil out of the match. And then back Hoffenheim. All back first half goals over one and a half goals. Uh, just for a bit of fun. Like uh, Leverkusen, should start paying out uh, regularly. Werder Bremen and Bayern Munich, solidly with the away side, but Werder Bremen might offer some stern defence. They have had a very good start to the season relative to the season's past. Check out this cup match. We've got a draw against Augsburg, a draw against Dortmund, keeping them quiet, and a 1-2 win against Mainz. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, Werder Bremen, when they were relegated, uh, just fell apart. So they could offer some firm resistance to Bayern Munich today, I think. Frankfurt and Mönchengladbach not going to be shortlisted, but I will be monitoring the matches, of course. <clears throat> Wexford against Longford, odds on Fav away from home. Why? We'll soon find out. Venezia, newly promoted, could be vulnerable. High-profile derby-style match. Juve Napoli, I tend to leave that one alone, unless the market reports anything. Lecce and Parma, newly promoted Parma. Lecce, newly relegated Lecce. So this is going to be a fascinating match. I would be favouring the newly relegated side, if indeed they were. Serie A last season, Lecce. Newly relegated against newly promoted, got to be targeted. Could be really good value that at the end of the match. In the Eredivisie, Utrecht full of goals, worth following. Ajax. In better form than he started last season. Any seen Yarmigan against Heracles. Heracles newly promoted a couple of seasons ago. Well, 1.65 falls within my ideal odds. 1.5 to 1.7 at home. So I will star that one. Easter Divisi. We're expecting over two and a half goals. So watch out for that. VTS Arnhem newly relegated and favourite today. But they have had a poor start to the season. In La Liga, it looks a tough encounter. Real Madrid have been absolutely superb. Now Kylian Mbappe is scoring. Scored three and two at home. Watch out, Espanyol. Valencia, Girona coming off the back of a big loss against Atletico Madrid. Valencia, Girona losing in Europe midweek. Uh, don't fancy this one. Neither does the market. 2.45. Osasuna have impressed. Las Palmas might be a bit ropier, the Islanders, on the road. I think they find uh, their home turf where they pick up the vast majority of their points. Uh, really poor loss for Osasuna against Rayo Vallecano. Surprised. But it has been a bit of a goal fest. So those of you with an over two and a half goal hat on might want to look at that. Particularly looking at Las Palmas against Atletico Bilbao. Very competitive. You can tell that at home. Keeping Real Madrid to a 1-1. But away travels troubles. Conceding two goals in the last two away matches. So I would star this for a possibility of Osasuna dominating or being unbeaten, let's say, in this match. 
So this is my new, new tactic, looking for matches that I like personally uh, with a good backstory that hopefully I can rely on the teams as we move in when the match goes live. Deportivo La Coruña put in a solid performance a couple of weeks ago. Odds on at home. I'll uh, just keep an eye on them, see what we can see. It doesn't look like the Alsvenskan Super League, and this is a local derby, the special one. Uh, gets to meet Galatasaray should be a fascinating encounter. Some really high quality signings for both of these sides, albeit players at the back end of their careers. Looking again through the remainder of the leagues, the Austrian Bundesliga, Las Linz are playing Graz. <coughs> if we look at the standings, it just give us a quick indicator of season struggles or successes. Graz find themselves ninth. Lintz a fourth. Uh, two defeats. A 1 0 win against. Uh, oh no, 1 0. Yeah, oh sorry, looking at the wrong one. We're looking at. Getting a bit mixed up here. Last Glintz, yeah, not Blau Weiss Lintz. I was looking at the wrong team. Lask, not Blau Weiss. So Lask are finding themselves in a spot of bother as well. This is not where they'd expect to be. I don't know if they've sold major players. 1-0 loss, 1-5 loss, 2-1 loss, 1-0 loss, and 1-2 uh, loss. So a number of them have been one goal in it, so that might be worth following. Again, why on earth a side in such poor form priced at 1.62? You saw that with Crystal Palace, it came in, and you saw it with Traps on Spore, and it came in, albeit with very late 2-2s. Is that going to be the case today with Last Glint? Does the market expect redemption today for a side who started awfully and a lot more is expected of them? So again, that would get a star from me. Beershot, newly promoted, could be vulnerable, even though the market's suggesting they're giving a shout here today. The dogs enjoy Beershot, I think. Yeah, I hope they're not uh, after some copyright royalties to appear in the video. So the next stop on a busy Saturday. This is why this is a good idea to do these short lists. It'll just narrow the focus. Dinamo Zagreb, Hashtag Split, the big boys in Croatia tend to be reliable, particularly if you're conceding first. DZ are away from home. Slavia Prague, very reliable trading side. Uh, happy to keep them on my side. When they concede, they tend to fight back. But this has the air of a derby-ish type match. Poulsen are near the top echelons in the Czech Republic. But again, that will get starred. As you can see, the Czechs don't do much else on a Saturday apart from play football, it seems. Nothing from the Danes today. The championship, what I tend to do in the championship is just to focus on the odds on favourites and take all of the matches in play. Plymouth, I think, well, the West uh, Wayne Rooney football genius might be vulnerable today. Sheffield United, newly relegated, could find home form particularly important in this league. That would get a star from me as a match I think is readable. Uh, Leeds United have put to bed the conceding of three goals, uh, but they have been spluttering a little up front. 1-0 loss, and again, that was a break-even for us. But uh, one errant YouTuber calling that a loss. So uh, that's why I place great importance on you knowing how to do insurance. That was an actual break-even for us. So I'll keep an eye on Leeds. Uh, Burnley, newly relegated, could find newly promoted Pompey to their liking. That's a nice recipe, isn't it? That's a, I was going to say Middlesbrough against Sunderland would be a local derby, but uh, yes, it is. That's a derby style match, so I'd leave that one alone. Maybe you want to top up on the old cards on that one. English League One, probably not going to be a team that stands out for me here. So I don't follow it religiously. I just follow it on a Saturday and Sunday. And via the in-play stats, really. So uh, Wrexham have started extremely brightly. Newly promoted, yet flourishing. 
with old Deadpool's billions to help them out. So that would stand out for me. Peterborough I like, particularly when they're odds on. They have a good ability to come from behind, particularly when favoured, particularly when at home. So I'll look out for that. They scored second half goals quite a lot last season. English League 2, again, not familiar with many of these sides and their stories. I tend to just react in play. And like last week, it's a suggestion of a toughish coupon. 2.38 there, 2.35, 2.4. Ouch. So nothing much uh, really stands out for me. But later on, before my live chat webinar, I will be picking out the likes of Barrow and Chesterfield as odds on at home. That could be a good angle in. Not going to be doing any of the lower tiers today in England because of a lack of liquidity, more likely than not. And it's no real big names in uh, the FA Cup, unless you're fans of uh, Three Bridges and Withenshaw Town. Fantastic stuff. Premier League 2 will get a star. Potential for over two and a half goals yet again. Particularly, we've got three odds-on favourites at home. Although yesterday's odds-on favourite did only manage a 1-1. That was a Crystal Palace under-21s. But if you want a slant towards overs, that's the way to go. Lille, Champions League side Lille. Or between 1.5, 1.7 at home. Well worth a look. To be researched in play, I think. Paris Saint-Germain not being blunted since Kylian Mbappe have left. Look very reliable indeed. So I'm looking forward to that one as a possible tradable match. Bundesliga Zwei. We've got any readable sides here today. Greuther Firth are newly relegated. FC Köln newly relegated. Put in a very solid display last week. But I think for naught, they dropped three points last week. But they did catch the eye. Should never have lost to Magdeburg in a million years. The stats were emphatic. 23 goal attempts. But the story of the match, not so. I think they did score. We did lay the draw second half, didn't we? You'll remember that match. They did score first. But, ouch. Not building upon that single goal. That's why Mikel Arteta loves his two nils. So I'll be following this one today. Dusseldorf, I believe, are newly promoted. So we've got newly promoted v newly relegated. No, they're from the Bundesliga as well. We've got, I think, both. I know Bundesliga's Zwei. So they remained in the Bundesliga Zwei last season. So it's just FC Köln. Well worth following in the Bundesliga Zwei. Very, very impressive last week. Did not deserve to lose 1-2, but must score that second goal. Simple as that. There's Tina Turner's favourite team, Cottbus City Limits. But elsewhere, apart from being uh, any relegated sides from Bundesliga Zwei, I wouldn't have a great interest in the Bundesliga Dry. Liquidity-wise as well, that's also an issue. Greece next, is it? As we move down the G's at Soccer24.com, great website to use. PAOK Thessaloniki, 1.3 favourite. Oli, tend to be very reliable as well in the Greek Super League. So this is the method of just shortlisting matches that you like, particularly on a, on a busy day. You're picking out teams that you can read. This lot look very reliable. All hail to the ale. Happy will be a Shiva again between. 1.5 and 1.7 at home. Serie B, I will be monitoring it for trading purposes. I don't have a strong opinion here today. Salernitana, newly relegated. wonder if they're going to be finding this league much more to their liking. We'll soon find that out today. Sassuolo, newly relegated as well, but it looks like a tough match. 2.63, the favourite. Please bear that in mind, regardless of the sides whether they're newly relegated or not. So as you can see, a busy, busy Saturday. So best to have a short list of what you fancy. 
but as ever, we, we will be going wherever the stats take us during the live chat webinar today. I don't know which matches I'll be trading at the end of today. That's the beauty of it. Stay wide open. Wouldn't be trusting the Obosligan uh, with any stolen money in Norway. It's one of our summer leagues. The extra classer. Any familiar names? The Jagalonia Baylistock. I think they were champions last season. So they'll get on the short list playing uh, Lekki Gdansk. So certainly on the watch list. Arca Gidney have been worth following in the first division, particularly last season. There are again odds on this. So we're building up a nice short list of matches. These will take priority. I think Estrella, possibly newly promoted. So not a familiar name. Porto are away at Guimaras, but they're not fancy today at evens because Guimaras, I think, have had a good start to the season. That could be the reason. Uh, three consecutive wins, including very impressive wins against Familia Sao and Braga. Those are the two sides just outside of the big guns, Porto, Benfica, Sporting Lisbon. So that's why Porto are at evens. But that will certainly get a watch list in case the market's underestimated. FC Porto. So we're building up a nice list. I won't be playing the cup today. We can pick our battles. Uh, no familiar big names in the cup, just lower tier stuff. Uh, Style Bucharest, 1.5 home favourite, automatically get a look in from me today. And in the live chat, I'll show you how to use the research to just see if you can get some over two and a half goal plays or overs plays. Let's not just limit ourselves to two and a half goals. I won't be playing the lower tiers in Scotland. Liquidity plagues those leagues, which is a real pity. Sweden next, perhaps. And then I'll call it a day. See you for a live chat webinar. Yeah, Sweden maybe next. Like the Czechs, the Spanish love their footy on a Saturday. No major Swedish football today. It's all lower tier stuff. Swiss Super League. Uh, no big boys out. Servette involved in Europe. Might just get a little glance from me today. Uh, Basel have been a lot better than they have been in previous seasons, but it looks like a tough derby style match, that one. Tough coupon. Turkish one league. Appendix Boar at home. Nearly promoted last season. So they'd certainly get a look. In. I don't know anything about Emed Spore. Or in Karaguku. I think they could be newly relegated in Karaguku. We can have a look. If they are, then they certainly aside. You can entertain for your watch list. Yet yeah, they're involved in the Super League last season and Karaguku. So they might find this league to their liking. Now that looks a lot more appealing, that match, doesn't it? 1.6 favourite at home, who we know newly relegated, could be finding this league to their liking. So it's up to us at five o'clock to see whether they bring it home or indeed if they can come from behind. That's our ideal trade there. So all of these shortlisted matches go into the My Games here. And I'll be doing another My Games, maybe using Flash Score because it's an identical website, but Soccer 24 is far more in depth. So you could use uh, football flashscore.com to shortlist your odds on favourites. But as you can see, you don't see the odds ons here, but you see them here. That's why you get that subtle difference. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Unless you click the odds here, of course. And then you collect your odds on favourites. Let the market do the work. Our job is to create trading angles. Is the market accurate today? Sometimes the market is incredibly accurate. Sometimes... Like in pre-Champions League, it can flounder a little. So on a separate browser, I'll have my odds on favourites listed up. And what will happen is they'll go into this version's My Games, which will be the favourites list here. Make sure you've got your speaker on because you will be alerted then of any goals that arrive in odds on favourite matches. You can then investigate for example, if Strasbourg score first against Lille, bang, 
we got an odds on favourite at home involved in the Champions League. So they must have been pretty handy last season. And that's when we do it. Getting to the half hour mark. So I'll call it a day now. Live chat webinar at 2.30pm today for members only. Next week will be an open webinar. We'll be making some good money. Hopefully that can continue this Saturday. We had a good weekend last weekend. Have a great day. I'll see you members 2.30pm for a live chat webinar and from 12.30 on Telegram.